Hey everybody, Prophetic here with a quick rant on another VPN issue I found. So um, in a previous video, I mentioned how much of a pain it was to um, someone who is not the most um, tech savvy in terms of the networking, networking side of things, how to connect to their work VPN in Plasma and the challenge that was. Uh, sorting through the video, uh, th sorting through the menus and all the int um, options it has, um, and then I, I mentioned the fix um, in, I guess a previous version of GNOME, um, or s another GTEK based um, desktop environment. It was super simple, super easy, um, and so that's why I was surprised when trying on Pop OS. Um, or maybe uh, the newer GNOME versions, um, it didn't make it as easy again. Uh, so this is kind of like a, a quick walkthrough slash rant on how to get Cisco AnyConnect VPN installed in Ubuntu, more more accurately in Pop! OS slash GNOME. Um, and so this can maybe help you out because I had to search a lot and troubleshoot a lot and, and the information wasn't as easy to find. Um, maybe my Google skills aren't as good. But anyways, the, the big uh, hiccup with this is when you go to, um, let's say your settings and network, um, you go to your VPN and you press plus, you only see these two here first. And that is kind of problematic because you think, okay, I can just set up these, this VPN with these two things. There's nothing in this menu that says, you know, um, that gives you a full list of what you might need and almost like what, or, or some type of indication of install other VPN uh, back end or whatever you, however you want to name it or um, describe it. There, from this menu, there could be something that says, uh, you know, these are the compatible VPNs that could be configured. Up, oh, it looks like you don't have the back end installed. Click here to install. And with a single click, you install the back end, which also installs the GUI front end. Um, so for that reason, I spent forever trying to like try to force my uh, Cisco AnyConnect to this configuration. And if you look on here, you have the gateway, username, password. And I'm thinking, yeah, that makes sense. Okay, yeah, gateway, username, and password. And I guess. Um, this is really weird for a user interface, like have this be part of a question mark. Usually when you see a question mark, um, it's almost like a, a pop-up overlay for the, which is all it is. But for some reason, when you click on the question mark, you actually can do this. So it's another example of GNOME trying to hide everything to make it look nice, but then when they hide it, makes things not as user intuitive because I didn't realize that was there until like just by happenstance, I just clicked on it. It's like, oh, I can do this. Anyways, that's a rant. Um, and then NT domain, I put some random domain, you know, that I thought would be, would be configurable, you know. Um, and uh, yeah, and then I click on advanced, nothing was working. So I started checking, you know, researching what these checkboxes do, checking, unchecking some stuff, and it was just a pain. So it wasn't until I realized, duh, similar to Plasma, I have to install Open Connect. Then you have to install Network Manager Open Connect. Cool. Okay, so this gives you the back end. This gives you the uh, network managing back end. But then here's the kicker here. You need the GNOME Network Manager GUI side. And what this allows is for it to show up when you click on here, then this will appear. Then this will show up. Psych, I'm lying. It won't show up. 
you have to restart your freaking computer. That was fun. Figuring that one out with no notation or documentation anywhere that I've seen that that's when it can show up. So you have to restart your machine, then it will show. So of course, um, I'll include this and the notation to, you know, restart your computer on the notes and description of YouTube, this, this video, but, uh, and basically you, you click the drop down Cisco, any connect, you punch your gateway in, um, and then fill out things from there. I didn't really need to do all that, you know, certificate stuff. It's already handled. I just punch in, let's punch in the, uh, my, my username, my password, and then my two factor authentication two-factor authentication right yeah, right here boom that comes up and you are ready to rock and roll so all this to say plasma and gnome could do a lot better in presenting vpn configurations in a uh in a, in a more seamless way or not provide so much risk uh uh so much uh, friction between the user and the goal of getting VPA, VPN uh, set up. And that's just my two cents. Um, don't forget to subscribe. <laughs> See you later. <laughs>